Let's go to Mike in Merrimack, New Hampshire. Hey, Mike, what's going on, brother? Hey, good morning, Tom. I'm hey, curious so uh, you guys... your take on natural gas. I'm not in it, but uh, wondering where you think that's headed. Natural gas. A widow maker. <laughs> Talk about volatility in Roku, volatility yeah. in natural gas. So let, let's take a look. He wants to look at UNG, which is the U.S. Natural Gas Fund. But I want to bring up NG. Let me bring up the futures first. So NG, let's see. We're not in December. There we go. Okay, so. We got about 10 inches of snow in your old neighborhood up here. I know. I was just going <laughs> to ask you. 10 inches. Uh, is that what you have already? Yes. And it's still snowing, right? Yes. Oh, my God. It's December. Oh, boy. Okay, so this is a mess. One second. N N G N G. I got to bring up the generic contract. Okay. okay. So that had quite a day on Friday. Holy cow. I mean, it just got wiped out. Not you. I'm just no, saying the market, natural man, gas oh, man. did. Yeah, I wouldn't touch this thing, man. I mean. Yeah, you think it's going to go continue lower? Yeah, the lowest game. 202 is game, man. That that type of bar, now I get this on a weekly, but I can put it on a daily. That's a 50 cent bar. And just so you understand something, a dollar in the natural gas market is $10,000 a contract. Yeah, so that was like about it's, 44 cents just in that last week. Yeah, that's just intense. High to low. If we go over to UNG, so we go to UNG, the ETF that he's actually looking at. Put it back. I can do the monthly because we just ended November. Oof, that's it. Can't right, see. Gets, I, I was like, that gets a little. I can't I'd, see I'd anything. In, to get back to two hundred. I was like three years. Okay. What is that? Uh, yeah. I, don't touch this thing, man. This is a, okay. Yeah. And you know what's so wild, folks, is that just, just you know, Mike, just I, I can absolutely see why you want to touch it because I can tell you, up until I traded natural gas a lot. Uh, if we go back 10, 15 years, I traded for a good five years in a row. And what happened is that, and this is when natural gas was a lot higher, because even the, I remember the, I had to put up like 12,000 a contract. And, okay. Um, but what happened is this, is that it, it, there's such a disconnect between even, you know, technically sometimes how it's set up and fundamentally, I'd say to myself, oh my God, hold it. It's freezing all over the country. They got to use natural gas. Well, guess what? No, they didn't. <laughs> you know, and so it, it just seems to me that natural gas in general is not a great thing to trade. And I'm, I'm you know, saying that not just personally, but I've even since not trading it, I haven't traded it for a good five years now, right? And there's a disconnect, man. It, it, and it has to do with this contract here only has to do with where this is stored. It doesn't have to do with, like, what will end up happening. You'll hear me on the air saying, oh, okay, so what ends up happening is that, um, like, Boston, like, you know, I bet we'll hear, okay, that in the next three or four days, that natural gas up in your area, Mike, okay, is going to go exponential in price, but that's the spot market. And sometimes it goes up 200, 300% for two or three days at a time, then it comes back down, versus this market here, meaning where it's stored, because natural gas, you can't get easily from one place to another place. Sure. I, I think that's the biggest problem. Do you know what I'm saying? And once, yeah. just to and, tie it in, once, like you're saying, then once it's cold, they know it's going to be cold. You know what I mean? It's the unpredictable part of things of where it's going to be maybe in two, three, four weeks or what's going on right. that you don't know yet. Because once it's snowing 10 inches, the market had priced that one in. But just to pull up the last part that I found interesting. So you did say, you know, for every dollar in here, it'd be $10,000. So right. every 50 cents, it'd be $5,000 you'd have for exposure. And the, you're putting up only about twenty four fifty to twenty seven hundred bucks. So just last week alone, and just how that would play into that type of market, uh, it's a wipeout. you have to consider it, right? right. Because you have people putting up um, twenty six hundred and seven, you know, call it twenty seven hundred bucks. Right. And so basically, if the contract moves twenty seven cents, they're wiped out, right. and you had forty five cents of movement last week. Yeah. That plays into things for sure. Totally. Thank you, gentlemen. Cooking, brother. Thanks, Mike. Stay, Stay warm, warm. Stay yeah, safe out there, man. Totally. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Come right back.